Hi guys, today is the 27th of June 2013 and today I would like to talk to you guys about positivity when it comes to disabilities. Um, someone just wants to say hi quickly. <laughs> it's, I don't think I've shown you his new hair. Show you your new hair. New hair. It doesn't usually look like that. Usually it's all kind of like styled up like <laughs> that but it does its own thing at the moment. But yeah, <laughs> he loves it. But yeah, um, basically trying to, I'm going to try and share some tips with you to try and keep a positive attitude when you have any kind of disability this applies to. I fully believe that if, um, you know, your mental health, personally, I believe is much more important than your physical health. You can be in peak physical condition and feel like crap, so what's, you know, what's the use kind of thing? And if you feel good, then genuinely you are good and I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, not so much the law of attraction and stuff like that but I am a full believer in the power of positive thinking and how much personally it's helped me so with that in mind what I will say first of all is that I'm not trying to kid anyone and say that this isn't awful I mean being disabled no matter what your disability it's it's awful it's shit <laughs> and it's okay to feel bad about that sometimes and it's okay to cry about that sometimes it's how it's how you manage it and how you move on it's perfectly okay to feel all these feelings it's perfectly okay to ball your eyes out for hours but then afterwards you take a deep breath and say right that's it now, it's out my system, let's carry on. Because it does get you down, it really, really does get you down. And it can hit you out of nowhere as well, no matter how good you're feeling, suddenly you'll get really down about it. But like I said, it's all about being able to dust yourself off and carry on going. So yeah, with when it comes to the power of positive thinking and stuff like that, um, like I said, I do truly believe in the power of positive thinking and putting out positive energies and attracting positivity back. If you look at every situation in your life with a smile on your face, then good things good things will come to you. They really, really will. I, I fully believe it. And I know this will probably sound crazy for people who haven't experienced stuff like this, but when you do, you'll think, why isn't everyone doing this? <laughs> Unfortunately, you will not know. You have to forgive my hair keeps going in front of my face today. It's getting a little bit annoying. But um, there we go. But yeah, just <laughs> put out positive energy. You will get it back. And like I said, if you, if you go about things with a smile on your face, everything will seem so much easier. And even when things <laughs> aren't so easy, it makes it easier to deal with. And you can just shrug off the bad stuff because obviously it won't stop bad stuff from happening to you and it won't stop bad feelings but you can deal with it a lot better with a positive attitude and um that's my train of thought now because Dylan's handed me one of these what else is he gonna do trying to sabotage my videos but yeah when you're when you're disabled and you are in constant pain every day it is very 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 hard to keep a positive mental attitude and a general light outlook on life. It's very, very hard and I will not make light of that fact. It's very difficult. But there are certain ways that you can try and train your mind into thinking that it's okay, let's just carry on. That's that's personally how I deal with it because I'm in, I'm in pain constantly and especially with this relapse lately, the pain has been, you know, it leaves you in tears. <laughs> Stuff <laughs> like that. But I just, I try and smile through it and just keep smiling and be this little glowing ball of energy. And, you know, it does, it really does help me cope. And I think that if you can, if you can somehow, I can't tell you how to personally do it because everyone has their own coping mechanisms and stuff like that to be able to think positively so I can't tell you personally how to do it but you will find a way of doing it it will take a lot of training 
and it will take a lot of time <laughs> for you to figure out what's right for you but you will find it eventually and you will be happy with it and you will be able to think positively and always look on the bright side no matter what the situation no matter how awful it is but the more you the more you do it um, the more automatic it will be and then the more um, good things will, will come to you they really really will and you have to keep no matter how sick you are you have to keep this positivity going because as soon as you let your disability get to you that's when it gets you if that makes sense as long as you can keep it at bay that's when the disability wins. As soon as you let it get to you, that is when your disability wins. And no matter how much pain you're in, I know it will make you cry, but it's okay. It's fine. You can cry. Just dust yourself off and start again. And one problem that I find personally with positive thinking is... You have to also eradicate negativity that's around you. Dylan, that's getting really quite annoying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to do a really serious, deep video here, and he's. Just... But um, yeah, eradicating negativity from your life, and you know the people that just kind of drain you, no matter how good you're feeling. Five minutes with them, and then suddenly you feel. Like... You need to eradicate those people and those situations from your life. If you can't do that, for example family we've all got family that you know you'll know what I'm talking about and you can't you can't really eradicate those people apart from spending as minimal time with them as possible you can't really eradicate them so you need to figure out ways of blocking their negativity and just trying to put blinkers on like you can't you can't hear it don't let them get to you you know let that little light inside you glow and just push it all back it is hard it's very very hard especially when it comes to people like family which you have no choice but to be in your life but um i'm working on that personally at the moment <laughs> why are you giving me this you know what maybe i should just stop this video and carry on when i'm you know not being distracted. I carry on. Was, very funny, was it funny? Really? <laughs> yeah, it's all about keeping positive, keeping negative energies at a minimum, and being able to cope with negative energies when they come your way. When you start to think positively and train your mind and your thought process into thinking positively, your life will become better. I can promise you that. Because even, obviously it won't stop all bad stuff happening to you, but it will make it easier to deal with. It's all up here. It really, really is. You create your own life. You create your own energies and you create what comes back to you. Dylan, that's rude. <laughs> and you create your opportunities. No one can do this for you but you. And if you can smile through your disability, keep going, even when that really rude person looks at you and doesn't offer you a seat on the bus, looks at you like dirt, pushes you into the road when you're on the crutch, just as much as you really want to hit them, I wouldn't recommend that, but God I've been close to today, I really have just smile at their ignorance and just carry on because at the end of the day you're awesome you really really are awesome the challenges that disabled people face no matter what your disability our challenges every day are phenomenal and we get through it nothing can stop us and putting positive thought behind that as well we are unstoppable um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it on that note because Dylan is really getting quite boisterous, so I will leave it on that note. But I just wanted I just wanted to share a little bit of positive energy with you guys, and you know how I try and cope with my problems. <laughs> but yeah, just keep thinking positive, guys, and we will all get through this together, no matter what your disability. So 
thank you for all your messages of support as well, asking me about my relapse and stuff like that as well. I'm I'm doing okay. I'm I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm doing great. I'm I'm doing okay. Still in a lot of pain, but I'm okay and I'm smiling. So I will see you guys soon.